everyone welcome to my channel as you all know we are practicing in CloudQuest which is AVS solutions architect role so we are going to work on serverless foundations today uh, we are going to see the problem and then see how the art architecture works what needs to be done and then we will go to the practice session so now let's get started let's see what the problem is I managed IT department, we are building the technical infrastructure for the city's first amusement park. In order to maintain a high level of customer service, we will need to respond to complaints quickly. Our biggest need is a, the ability to organize ratings and feedback about the park within the app so we can respond to the customers near real time. My team is in early stage app development, but I am concerned about the hardware and maintenance costs that come with using physical servers. I guess we could use Amazon EC2, but we don't have, we don't want to manage servers anymore. I would like to reduce maintenance activities. I understand maintaining physical servers does require a lot of maintenance, and even running EC2 instances requires some routine maintenance, like OS patching. Have you considered serverless computing? Serverless computing allows you to build and run applications and services without thinking about servers eliminating many infrastructure management tasks. How many servers will be need to support all of the visitors? How many servers will be needed to support all of the visitors? The good news is that a serverless platform will automatically scale resources in and out depending on your compute needs. My team has already built the application frontend and database to store the messages but they just need a mechanism to receive and identify the messages. Great, then it should be relatively easy for me to build the code to process messages with our serverless platform using AWS Lambda. Can you build prototype to process messaging using serverless technology? Let's accept that and start the test. So we are now going to see the watch the video concepts and learn more and then go to the plan. Now we are going to see the plan and start practicing. Uh, in the practice part, it will be creating an AVS Lambda function and in the DIY, uh, we are going to modify the labs AVS Lambda function code to display different building values based on the emoji type value in the JSON element. So let's start doing that. We are going to go to practice section. Once we review this part, we can start there will be 26 steps we are going to start the lab we are going to create AVS lambda function using python uh, then deploy the lambda function that you you created test the lambda function i have done lambda function um, in the builder labs before so if you want to see that you can check on my um, youtube channel as well so let's start the lab now we are going to click here starting and then open AVS console we have a little bit more time this time it's going to be 2 hours 15 minutes so now we are in the console lambda we can search in here as well but it's also in here we are using north virginia region let's go to lambda now this is the previously created but we are going to create a new function author from scratch Function name will be lab function, no spaces. One time will be Python. The last one is 3.9, 3.10. We are going to scroll and change default execution. Use an existing role. An existing role, let me see which one. Lab function role, this one. We need to select this one. And now we need to create the function. I have my picture, so it's just under my screen we forgot to download the lab files so let's do that now let's scroll to the code source section and lambda function we will delete this one and then we, we are going to deploy so let's delete this one and deploy oh sorry ah, we just we are going to pass it manually, so let's go here and open downloads. I'm going to try to open OK in here. We are going to take all of it. I open it in my notepad because it was going to Python. Let's pass this here and deploy. OK, now it's deployed. So now we need to review the code runtime um, these are all the information uh, the lambda handler so this is the code that lambda handler again information uses the parameters 
emoji type event emoji type so this is what it says emoji type is it uh, is a text message event so it's going to show the more print emoji type print message okay emoji type is number message is string uh, i don't understand coding much but these are the basic codes so let's see if we can figure this out later on so it says um, review the content of the response section review return statement return statement is response when the lab function is invoked the response is returned by the return statement the test to test the lambda function you will need to configure the test event data for your function so let's click the test test here my test event is private and template mobile backend echo mobile echo okay for event sharing section choose private user template we are going to take this part copy uh, operation this is on Mojit operation echo okay it worked this time let's delete that and um, do we need to save now so we are going to save now Um, we haven't tested I don't know if I test I don't see that in the execution results tests maybe here let's test again okay it works now my test event message hello world so now we are going to monitor go to monitor cloud watch matrix last event we are going to click on here click here we see here number hello world okay return to the lambda browser tab and click test let's go back to this tab and go to test so now we need to change this to three And save it okay once we change to three there is save here we are going to save it so now we are going to test this one executing function succeeded test event was successful let's see the details hello world message to all other codes hello world duration request ID latest three hello world So now we are going to go to the DIY section, which is my behind my screen. Now we need to modify the labs areas lambda function code to display different filling filling uh, values based on the emoji type value in the JSON element. So validation process: our test ser servers will transmit JSON object to your lambda function containing the emoji type identification element and a random message example. I love the park. So emoji example will be emoji type zero message. I love the park. So let's go there. Are we going to change just here? Let's see if I, I'm not sure if I need to change the whole code. Let me see the code. Here is the code. Emoji type message. Emoji type. Zero one. Let's go to test and change it here. Okay, let's save it now. Need to test it, see the details. Uh, your a lambda function ARN. Let's see if it's going to be validated. Function ARN is here. Let's try to validate. Let's see. 
R2 servers will transmit a JSON object to your Lambda function containing the emoji type, identification element, and a random message example. Emoji type 0 message I love the park. I'm going to go back to the code. Response. Emoji type 0. Emoji type 0 message for custom message message for code 0 let's um, I love the park let's change the, this I'm going to oh this is one okay I love the park so there is a little bit more down I haven't realized emoji type 0 message I love the park update the lambda function using the following rules emoji type 0 return returns feelings positive so emoji type 0 custom message will be positive. Um, emoji type 1 returns feelings narrow neutral neutral emoji type any other value than 0 and 1 return feelings negative custom message else will be negative after the above updates your lambda function must return in, in the following JSON format just like it already does so let's deploy now I'm going to check the function Aaron. See if it's going to validate. No. Hmm. JSON format uh, and must be in J include elements feeling and message. Okay, feelings and message. I want to see that in one place. Let's delete them. This part. Okay. Event context. Emoji type zero. Emoji type event will be feelings. Feelings. Feeling. And print emoji type, print message, custom message, emoji type zero, then it should be positive. Because this will be in natural and negative. Everything else will be negative. So feeling and message event message print emoji type message and then custom message Let's deploy. See what's going to happen. Such feeling. Custom message should be showing here. Feeling. Let's delete custom message. V. 
feeling the floor. Let's try again. Here feeling, I guess. Custom message none, emoji type, let's deploy. And try again. Building message. Let's try like this. See. I guess it was showing negative. It, um, space. Yes! Oh my god. Great. So that was a little bit more confusing, more difficult, I guess, because we need to learn Python and learn how to read. And practice more. I will see you in my next video. Bye. I can compete because you